This video will cover custom templates. Custom templates can be created and are intended to be used repeatedly. The best way to create a template is to edit a template that has already been created. This way, most of the work has already been done for you. These template files are actually drawing files and will show up in the Windows filing system as drawing files with the same extension as regular drawings. If you select an Alibre template and make changes to it, the file will need to be saved as a new file. By default, it cannot overwrite the native Alibre template since the Alibre design templates are write protected. Templates can contain any of the following items design properties, dimension styles, fields, labels, logos, and tables. To create a drawing template, start a new drawing. Select the template you want to edit. Create an empty drawing. Right click on the border, it will turn to blue, and select Explode Symbol. In the main menu, select Sketch, then Text, then Field. You could also press Ctrl K on your keyboard to activate 2D Sketch, then click the Text Field icon in the Sketch Figures group on the ribbon. A field is the data the user will be prompted to insert when using the drawing as a template. Examples of fields include the tag fields, drawn, date, and drawing number you see in the fill in text dialog when you start a new drawing. This dialog provides a means to quickly fill in this information, which will appear in the title block in the new drawing. In the field text dialog, select the type of field. User input fields will request information to be manually typed in by you when you create drawings that use templates that contain them. Design property value fields will automatically pull data from the design properties of part and assembly files. If you were working on a part or assembly file, like this cast iron part for example, you would enter design properties data by clicking on the Libre gem and selecting design properties. A number of fields are presented where you can enter data that can be accessed in 2D drawing mode for the design property value fields. For user input fields, in Name, enter the name of the field. We'll create a Plant Location field to designate which manufacturing facility this part is fabricated in. In Prompt, enter the message you want the user to see when he or she uses the template. In Text Options, select the Font button to set the font style and size. In Default Value, enter the text that the field will have if the user does not type anything at the prompt. In the workspace, click where you want to place this field, typically in a grid representing a drawing template's title block. The coordinates update in the position area of the dialog box. Click Apply and Close. For design property value fields, in Value, select the data type you would like to pull from the part or assembly file. Most of the values represent items in drawing properties of part and assembly workspaces. Some items, such as file path, represent dynamic items that cannot be changed. The prompt value cannot be edited. You will need to enter in data when beginning a design like you would for user input fields. In Text Options, select the Font button to set the font style and size. Note that using the Center Text option will likely produce the best results for many items, depending on placement of the Design Property Value field. In the Workspace, Click where you want to place this field, typically in a grid representing a drawing template's title block. The coordinates update in the position area of the dialog box. Click Apply and Close. In addition to fields, you can also place labels, logos, and custom symbols in the template. Label data will be placed in the template and is intended for items that do not change, such as company name and phone number. Logos. Go to the main menu, then insert an image. Or on the ribbon, in the drawing management tab, in the insert views group, select image. The last step is to save the template as a new drawing file. To create a template from scratch, start a new drawing. Select blank sheet and select the size of paper that you want to use. Using the sketching tools, Create the size of the border you need. Add in notes, field text, and field labels, and images as needed. 
Save the template as a new drawing file. To make a template from a DWG or DXF file, import the DWG or DXF file into Libre. If you have a template in AutoCAD, you may need to explode the drawing to be able to use it in the Libre design. Make the needed changes to the file in Libre. Then save the template as a new drawing file. Using custom templates. To use the newly created drawing as a template, start a new drawing, click the Browse button, then browse to the location of the drawing that you just made. This drawing will be used as a template for the new drawing. Templates are not backward parametric to other drawings. If you make a change to the template, those changes will not be shown in previously saved drawings. The changes will only be shown in future drawings. If the changes are needed in previous drawings, the template will have to be manually replaced. To do this, in the Drawing Explorer, right-click on the sheet you wish to change and select Sheet Properties. This will bring up the Edit Sheet Properties dialog box where the new template can be selected. This video covered custom templates. Custom templates can be created and are intended to be used repeatedly. The best way to create a template is to edit a template that has already been created. This way, most of the work has already been done for you. These template files are actually drawing files and will show up in the Windows Filing System as drawing files with the same extension as regular drawings.